But here's how you do a word study using Logos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open my preferred Bible. And we're right here in Matthew 3, 17. And I wanna study what wording is here where God says about Jesus, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on this interlinear. That is gonna show me my English and then the Greek word and the Greek word form there. So let's click on well pleased. And the first thing I'm noticing here, I am well pleased, all one word, it is a verb. And here is our Greek word. So if I wanna study this a little bit more thoroughly, I'm going to right click on that word come directly up to Bible Word Study. Up here, it's gonna show me all of my resources, depending on your library, it might look different, that I can click to get more information specifically about that word. I can hear what this word sounds like if I click this little graph here. You do All right, let's come down here a little bit to translation. This is giving me my Greek word, my translation of that word, and these words here represent how that word is translated in my preferred Bible. Right here it's saying I'm in the ESV. What I can do now is I can look specifically at any of these translations. So let's look at ready. Ready shows up 1 Thessalonians 2.8, being affectionately desirous of you, we were ready to share. Okay, so that's that one there. Pleasure, it'll pull up where does that occur in the New Testament. Pleased, this is the most often used translation of this word. 12 of 21, and it shows me here where that word shows up. So that is a simple way to do a Bible word study. It works the same way in the Old Testament as well. And if you want to check out Logos, you can check out Logos for free. I'm going to recommend that you do that because they give away free resources every month. You can slowly build your library over time. 